What's up guys, that one blader here and well we're doing Skyden like at once. Well they're not really gonna come out at once because it takes time for the to get processed by YouTube and actually upload and all that stuff. Sorry I don't have a face cam but you know maybe episode four. Maybe. I said maybe earlier. Means I might not. So okay, so here we go. Uh, it can only be fifteen minutes long, so you know, yeah, that kinda sucks, but I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna pause it till Minecraft is up. Alright guys, Minecraft's up. Twenty something. Um so let's just get on. Let's just get on. Let's get on to the world. Let's be awesome. Or whatever. Okay, so yeah, I got a mic in my mouth. Well not really enough, but you know what I mean guys. You know what I mean. Okay, uh it's an old mic. Um uh, you know. So I'm, we're just gonna keep in the last episode, in case you guys forgot, well, you're st probably watching them all continuously, so you probably <laughs> you guys probably didn't forget, but uh, we decided to work out. I decided to work out all the way to the sky den because I want infinite cobbles. There's that chest over there, if you guys can see it. Uh, it says "Take this for coming in." There's that chest that has the block breaker in it. What? No, no, no! It has a timer, a block breaker, and a book called Automation, okay? You use that to get an automated cobblestone generator, okay? Which is really awesome because it's just like, take gets cobblestone like so fast. It's like cobblestone is infinite. You got all the cobblestone you're ever going to need. So, you know, I really like how they let that be possible. How it's possible and all, but, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I plan to build a ranch because if I, like lay out a ton of grass in like maybe 64 by 64 area and obviously I'll have the cobblestone to do that if I do that it's like epic okay like a million peaceful mobs spawn okay I haven't done that in my um, personal sky den yet but you know something I will do because it is epic uh, cool shiny did it in his personal sky den and that happened and it was supposed to be a farm so you know yeah but you need like a ton of dirt and like with Captain Sporkles, it's like one stone for one dirt because he doesn't have the cosmic patch. But for me, it's 32 stone for 32 dirt, which is m better because it makes trading easier. Okay, so I like that. Okay, and I'm not gonna eat that apple because I there's an apple challenge where you need like a ton of apples for something. Can't remember what, but yeah, so. As you guys can see, there's a book called Automation, a screwdriver, a timer, and a block breaker. Take that. I'm going to head back. Once I'm back, I'm just going to hold this because it looks like a gun or something. I don't know. I have to hold something, guys. I have to hold something. And the pick this pickaxe might actually be like our last or second last pickaxe because of how awesome this automated cobblestone generator is. See, it's this place break here. So basically what you do, hang on, let me just toss some stuff out of here and put in what I need, okay? So basically what you do is you get the block breaker, timer, pickaxe, screwdriver, and then I'll read this book. I'll let you guys read this book first. There you go, guys. Alright guys, um, there's the book, uh, you guys read that just now, see, I put the block breaker right there, uh, screwdriver, bam, uh, then I take this chest, I don't know why I just did that with the screwdriver, but the screwdriver's got plenty of durability, I don't think it will ever run out, place a chest there, okay, then I go over here, uh, it says you need to place um, the block breaker and the timer and the chest. Ne um, the chest has to be like behind the block breaker like this, and but then you need a timer here too. Okay, so that part's hard, and this side's the water. So how Captain Sparkles did it, and how I'm gonna do it is by placing the timer, breaking that, and placing the timer right there. Right click on it, set it to the minimum. Uh, if I turn on my speakers. 
you guys can't hear it, uh, but I can hear it. It's like a constant tick tick noise that's like really annoying. But now, as you guys can see, bam, it's getting cobblestone like really fast. Okay, so now we're gonna run back to the sky den. Okay. Because now that it's work, it's running like that, you know, yeah. Uh, also, that chest over there had one bone meal that I never really took out. I think it was just one. I'm not sure. Let me see here. Uh, was there anything else? I don't think there's supposed to be anything else. But I forgot that there's supposed to be anything in that chest. And the reason why I'm looking down is because if I, like, look up in the sky in Island, it, like, just go crashes like crazy, okay? And I am going to do the flash game mode. See. See. Search. Pressure plate. Hang on, wait. I'm just going to get a pressure plate. Bam. Flash game mode. S. Okay, and that way, and a pressure plate right there. I realized that while I'm standing on the pressure plate, uh, that light turns off, but uh, it's totally worth it because that way I don't have to look down. The first guy I'm supposed to talk to is the Null Boss. Okay. Okay, so I got a quest. It's called the First Right. I believe I have to complete that before I can do any of these quests. Yeah, see. Uh, I have to do that no boss quest, which isn't bad, no. Darn it. Glitchy! Glitchy! I hate glitchy. Uh, so I'm just, let me just run back, uh. Bam, bam, bam! Pew, 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 pew. It should be like if you right click with this thing, uh, it, it gets fired like a gun. It fires like bullets and, or something, I don't know. That would be really cool, though. <laughs> Because it looks like a gun and all, so you know, yeah. Here, uh, I, uh, I believe the next place I want to work out to is the moose room. Okay, I believe the moose room is this way, but I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna increase my render distance. Oh no, not not difficulty. Video settings, uh, render distance, not far. There we go. I'll just put it there. Game. Yes, yeah, so that's the moose room over there, okay? Can't really see him from here, but there's a moose room in there. Okay, see, now you guys can see him. See that moose room, guys? Start punching him. Now there's a moose room there. Those signs say stuff about, feel free to expand the sound, but don't destroy all the mycelium. Uh, I might actually harvest that bottom layer of dirt. Probably not, but, you know, yeah. So I'm going to get there. Uh, the next place I plan to go is over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna type, I'm just gonna, options, and turn my render distance back down. Because if it's too high, then again, I've told you guys, it lags more, and I hate that. So I got the bone meal in here, uh, I'm gonna work out with slabs again, so I'm gonna need like a bunch of cobblestone. Uh, So I'm just gonna start building this bridge a little, I guess, with these five slabs, and then I can go get a bunch, because the chest will be like half full by the time I get back. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, and I believe dying to regain hunger is against the rules, but no one's and anything about dying because of hunger or dying to mobs to regain, or just randomly dying and then uh, hung regaining hunger just being like a side effect. So, you know, yeah. So we're gonna turn all this cobblestone. Well, not all of it, okay? We're gonna keep this. You know what, no, we'll keep that 13 right there, okay? Everything else we're gonna turn into slabs. Go bam. 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 And bam. There we go. Okay, so which way is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. That was kind of disturbing and didn't need to happen, but. So, look, you guys can see the moose room right there. It's a little moose room. And he's looking at us. Okay, now he isn't, but. 
Cool Shiny is obsessed with mushrooms, by the way, guys. In case you guys didn't know. He's obsessed with mushrooms. Obsessed! <sighs> okay. Uh, he has like a mushroom skin and he says, I'm a mushroom. I'm a mushroom, dude. I'm a mushroom. Yeah, he says that all the time. Uh, and then he doesn't even act like a mushroom, okay? So, you know, it's really weird, but. Okay, so there's the mushroom right there. Uh, basically, what he is is free food because when I get. Do I have a sapling growing? Okay, good, I do. Just making sure, guys. Just making sure. And mob drop flax will be very, very scarce until I make, like, a mob farm. Which I will be doing very, very soon here. Okay. I'm going to, I'm, I'm probably going to build that on the diagonals. Like, have a diagonal bridge going really far. And then, like, it just going straight, you know. Or something. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But that takes a lot more slabs to actually do. So, you know, yeah. Some negatives, some positives. How uh, far is the mushroom actually? See, it's really close. I th believe the mushroom is supposed to be like exactly a stack away. I'm not sure. The skyden is the furthest away, but it's the most worth it because now I got all the cobblestone in the world. Okay. So that's a really good thing, you know. Uh, in my personal skyden, I have like three or four chest filled. Chest filled cobblestone. See here, now you can see that. Uh, cool shiny also. He said he uh, changed this. Uh, these signs to say something like, Yay, mushroom! <laughs> and uh, free mushroom stew! And yeah, that is what we're going to get from him. We're going to be eating mushroom stew for a while, okay? So, you know, yeah. So I'm going to run back here, check if I can sleep, because it looks, it seems like it's getting dark. No, I cannot. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to craft myself some bowls and where's my wood do i have my wood on me yes i do have my wood on me okay so i just need you only need three wood to make a bowl so you know to make bowls and all and get back four so that's really plenty there we go bam that wood plank's probably gonna be like useless unless i plan on making a wood shovel anytime soon i'm just gonna toss out stuff that i really don't need right now uh torch Saplings, I'll keep one on me. And I can just stack those and those. And I'll toss in the apple. And now I can sleep off the nights. There we go. See, I'm sleeping off almost every night, even though most people don't. What just happened? Oh, okay, there we go. Hang on, escape. Options. Uh, nope, not that. E quests. First right, okay, so for this quest we need like four rotten flesh, two bones, and two gunpowder. Okay, so we need rotten flesh, bones, and gunpowder. And we don't have any of those, okay? That's why well, that's where the mob grinder over here comes in. What no, darn it. Well, we didn't die to regain hunger. We just randomly died. See, this is what I mean, guys. Were we dying to regain hunger? I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, so basically we're just gonna get some cobblestone here. Uh, we might like make this chest like uh, you know, tear this thing down, uh, collect all the dirt and just have it like a straight way pathway to the cobblestone generator and then build like a mob grinder somewhere else. But for now, for now, we're gonna do it like this. Bam, bam. Go, guys. See, no, wait. Nope, I messed up. I messed up, guys. See, even I can mess up. Everyone makes mistakes. And I had to pay for those mistakes, but whatever. Yes, whatever. There we go. See, we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do a little bit of this. We're gonna do a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. And a little bit of that. So I can get up here. So that we still have access to here. Uh, gonna cover that up with slabs because I don't have that much cobblestone. And then I need two pieces of cobble. 